Right, we are on our way to the steak restaurant. It's an a la carte steak restaurant in our, um, in our hotel. So I'm gonna show you around. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see what it's like. If it's rubbish, we might go to the buffet. But we'll see. All right, so this is us walking past the pools. So over there, that is a a la carte restaurant. I'm not sure what that one is actually. Um, but I know the, the one over on the right hand side just there, that's the Chinese one. Um, so that one must be Mexican actually. So that must be the Mexican, that must be the Chinese. It's a hot tub there. Lots of nice flowers and gardens and bits and pieces in this hotel. It goes up very high as well, some of the some of the rooms. We've got a ground floor this time, which does make it feel better with the kids. Because obviously we don't want them climbing over the balcony or whatever. That's the reception building over there. So these sunbeds here, when you're trying to get a sunbed, everybody seems to get there first thing in the morning. Um, I don't know, eight o'clock, seven o'clock and put all their sunbeds out. And it's been quite busy actually. It's been a bit of a challenge to get a sunbed. But yeah, it is a nice hotel. So this is the walk that it takes us to get there. So as you can see the famos dressed up to go to dinner as you do on holiday. So you get these camera guys as well and they they try and take your picture everywhere all day throughout the pool and or when you're at the pool and stuff like that. This is a reception. It's quite a nice reception really. Um, it's an old hotel as you can see but it is nice. It is a nice hotel. Some of the parts are telling their age. You can see all the different rooms there. All the different room types. So I think in this particular hotel all of the rooms are exactly the same. I don't think there's any sort of upgrades in terms of room. I think you can get a privileged, uh, I don't know what you call it, a privileged set or whatever it's called, I don't know, um, where you get your own area to sit in and stuff. I don't know if there's any perks to it because I don't think there's any other dining areas or stuff like that. It's literally just it is where it is and that's that. But anyway. Let's carry on looking at where we're going. So, that's new this year. Tenerife Bahia Principe. So that's the Bahia Principe and over there's the Sunlight Tenerife. Well, Costa Decky Sunlight Tenerife. So it's really confusing when you get here. So some people end up in that hotel, some people end up in this hotel, but it's all actually the same hotel. And as you can see, all the way up the street, it's like private villas. A few of them are for rent. This one's for sale. I think it's apartments, actually. But as you can see, we're really close to the sea. That's the sea just down there. So not far at all, really nice views when you're having your dinner or your breakfast or lunch if you want to eat outside. Yes, yeah, so you can see here, it says uh, Bahia Principe Costa Decky. Uh, 
Rob. Rob. Okay, so where do you think the best thing to go is? Down there. So what, and then try and get the lift Oh no, you can just go straight down from there. Down the path, yeah. Same way last time, but then we just walked down the path to the, to the restaurant. Yeah. The last time I trusted you, um, it all went tits up. Well, yeah, that, that is part of trusting me, unfortunately. <laughs> See over there, you got this, this. There was only like one or two of these last year, but now there's loads of them. Um, all the gypsies and stuff oh, laid claim to their land. That's a fisherman's village. Fisherman's village. Yeah, yeah let's call it a fisherman's village. Jeez. I've been down there. Have you? Did you I catch spoke, anything? I spoke to him. Did you? What'd yeah. they say? I'm a fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this is the easiest way, as I said, to walk to this restaurant. Otherwise you've got to go through the hotels and get lots of lifts and bits and pieces like that. Um, this is just more straightforward. Oh, is it? Oh, that's where all the good food is then. That's where the good <laughs> stuff is, yeah. In the star fresh I reckon if you sat here long enough looking at it, you'd see you'd see whales jumping and stuff. Oh look! Uh, 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 oh, oh, oh! Did you see that whale? That whale jumping. <laughs> Daddy's been jumping again. That's it, Noah. So I'm pushing the buggy. So one-handed jobby here. Sounded a bit dodgy. So this is the Italian restaurant we actually ate in this last night. Um, yeah, it was quite nice. Lots of so what it is is they give you a main dish, and then there's like a starters area which is buffet, and then you get to have your dessert as well as a buffet. But they just cook you a main meal from the menu. There's a few different choices, but yeah, it was quite nice. Now one gripe I have got with this restaurant every time that we've come into it it's never open outside and it should be because look at this view having dinner here would be a lot better than inside but unfortunately they never set the tables outside that's it in there that's actually where we sat just there um, but yeah really nice views out there Go this way, I've missed my turning. Hold on, there's a little ramp now. So this is the other hotel. I am gonna come and do a little video of this. So later on in the week, we're here for two weeks, but later on in this week I'll I'll come down here when there's a quiet time and I'll um I'll do a video of this hotel so you guys can see exactly what it all looks like. reception up there everyone queuing up for their Italian dinner so this bar over here is quite nice it's like they do um, private cocktails yes uh, yeah come back here look just here look Jack wants a hot dog. Yeah, this this is the gardens at this one. So when I first came here, I'm pretty sure they used to have water running all the way through it. Um, but it no longer does. But comment down below if you remember. If you've been here before, did it actually used to have um, water running through it? Or did I make that up? So over there, they've got villas and stuff like that. 
there kind of really is. Do you know what? I don't actually know. I have to look on booking.com and see if they actually are villas or not. Rob, Rob, ask them ladies, say, where, are they villas? Are they big rooms, are they? Go on, ask them. Yeah, go on. Very nice. Now we're all right, so I don't trust them. Yeah, yeah. This that bridge there is a really nice Instagram bit where you get obviously the view of the pools and stuff like that. Oh, not Charlie! Oh, you misty miss sitting here. Oh, a little bird there. Look. Just sitting there chilling out. <laughs> I'm going to relax and chill. Yeah, they might not let us in, eh? So this is all the different pools you've got down here. Again, I will do a different review. This is just a way to get to the steak restaurant. So all the hotels are one, like I say. And this is all the different rooms on this hotel. So going down here. So you get nice views of the sea and stuff like that from these rooms on the side. I think most of the rooms, as long as you get them high enough, you get really good sea view. I've actually stayed in that one on the corner just there at the top. Stayed in that one before. So I've been here three times actually. Right, so here we go. This is called Casa Bonita. And uh What you found? Oh, mm, yeah. So this is Casa Bonita, pool and grill restaurant. <laughs> so this is meant to be the steak restaurant. It looks really busy. I don't know if we'll get in there. <laughs> but yeah, really nice big pool there as well. Don't know if that one's heated. I'll give you a look round. When we get in there. See right, so sitting at the table, we've got ourselves a paper menu. They normally try and ask it to do a scan, but I thought I would like to show you the menu, so we've got a paper one. So this is it here, where you get this is, where you get the different bits and pieces. So you've got your entrees, which is obviously the buffet, your starters, which is the buffet. Oh no, the entree, sorry, is your main meal, isn't it? Yeah. So, this is what you can have. So you can have ribs, beef and Uh I don't know what any of this stuff is, actually. Barbecue ribs, beef steak, Potato wedge baked. And you got a children's menu. They didn't have a children's menu in the last one, did they? Oh, did they? Oh, you just have to get it up there. Right, okay. So some of this stuff is in here, but it's actually not here, if that makes sense. You have to go up there and have a look. So that's what I'll do now. I'll just take you up there. I'm going to take a look at what's like. Right, let's take a look and see what we've got up here in the buffet. So, uh, right, so over here we've got the usual meats and cheeses, some nice looking stuff there. And let's have a look here, so we've got some salad, bits and pieces, some sauce there. Same there. Salads. 
cucumber and tomato and bits and pieces for your salad. Right, these are the desserts. This is where the business end is. What we got here then? Yogurt and passion fruit mousse. Mm. Uruguayan dust. Well, that is, never heard of that one before. I always find with these desserts at these restaurants is that they never really tasted anything. As you can see the steaks there cooking. Nice. We've got some pasta there. We've got some pieces. We've got the chefs there. Cooking away some salmon by the looks of it. Hola. Hola. Some nice stuffed jalapenos there, a bit of rice. Lovely jungle. So that is exactly what you get for the steak. Uh, starters and dessert. So let's see what we've got for mains. Hello everyone. So here we are sitting at dinner, waiting for our main to come. Yeah, it won't be long. Charles is eating his. Jack's just eating his aperitif or whatever you call it, you know. Um, Rob's taking his teeth out. <laughs> and, uh, no, Rob's drinking his wine. Rob's drinking his wine. The ribs are like solid. So we've ordered five steaks yeah. and one ribs. I'm probably going to end up eating three steaks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not complaining. Yeah, he's enjoying that. He's got some chicken nuggets. We saw the chicken earlier. The starters were good. Yeah, the starters were good. The, the, the general consensus is the starters were better than they were yesterday, I think, weren't they? Um, they looked nice yesterday, they didn't taste of anything. Yeah. I said that about the desserts though. So yeah, normally when you get desserts, yeah. they don't really taste of anything, do they? It's a shame. Um, mm. They look good, but don't taste good. Yeah. They don't taste of nothing, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Hopefully, they might have, because some of them look quite nice, so hopefully they've got some sort of taste to them. Do you want to cuddle one, Mum? Yeah. You want to go in the nights? Do you want some foodies? Yeah, he does. He's looking away. He's gone after him. Alright, so the steaks have started to come out. Rob's ribs have come out. So I'll just give you a quick look at what they look like. So we can see what everybody's having. Mind you want some more juice? So this is Sophie's steak here. That's well done. Yes, it is a crime. Uh, Rob, this is steak. Oh, he's ribs, yeah. Oh, yeah, medium, yeah. There we go. There's Karen's one there. We've got a couple of them. Yeah, another medium. Over there, please. Yep. So we finished up at the steak restaurant and now we're in one of the bars, the many bars in the hotel or around the grounds. So we've got ourselves a couple of cocktails and it's this funky little bar in the middle between the reception and the swimming pools. Um, and they do like specialty cocktails so we decided to come and get some tonight. So we got red ones. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what they're called. They got like a Bailey's one. It's a cold one, I think. Mm. Yeah, it is cold. Mine's got Malibu pineapple. Malibu pineapple one. And gin, something. Yeah, lovely, lovely. It's a frozen one. Right, taste it. What does it taste like? Any good? Absolutely lovely. Lovely? Yeah. Oh, right. Is that one nice? Mm. My one's frozen. Is yours frozen? Oh, mine is. Nice. It's lovely. So not your average all-inclusive cocktails. Come and give this one a try.